Hi right, everyone, what's up and welcome back to the channel. We're back today and we are watching the season 18 gameplay trailer. This is the final trailer that's going to be launched other than the Battle Pass one before the launch of season 18. I also attended an early access preview event for season 18. So I'll be talking about a couple of other things that are coming to the game, but we're going to watch this trailer. Um, should be juicy. We got 60 seconds. We're here for the live premiere and I think it should be a good time. I'm not going to lie, the trailer intro is looking pretty... Pretty crazy. Revenant Reborn. We know Revenant is the new legend. Yesterday, uh, it's Timmy and a dev over at Apex unveiled all of Revenant's new abilities. So we already know what he's capable of, but it's gonna be cool to see some more of it in action here in the gameplay trailer. Uh, 20 seconds. Down in the comments as well, let me know. Are you guys excited for season 18? I'll kind of be giving you my thoughts and opinions a little bit more after the trailer on what I think, but Without no further ado, we got 10 seconds to go. You all real close Nine, eight, seven, six, five, <laughs> four, three, I can two, wait. one. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit of nostalgic vibes from this trailer. Just like, throw back to season four, the man. strings on me continue to pull. Someone new. Tinkering in my head. Oh, he looks. His new aesthetic is. Do you know cold. what it's looks like good. to be torn apart and stitched back together? Oh my God! You're lucky I'm here. To hit the death boxes. <laughs> Just won't let me Revenant die. Reborn. Unlocked for all players all season long. Your will to live is fading. We got the select fire coming back. I can see it. <laughs> Are you scared? The Shadow Pounce. His Shadow Pounce looks like it's going to be so much fun. Like pulling off cool movement stuff with it. Your death give me life. His ult is also super cool. New charge rifle we work. Look at him, man. Future hold. Mixtape arrives on Broken Moon. We got Eva 8 reactive skin for the battle pass. Death keeps chasing me, but I keep him in my rear view. That should be cool to play some mixtape on Broken Moon. It'll be dope. I feel good. Had the same maps for a while now. Here I go killing again. You're going to become a skeleton now. Bandit eliminated. Death finds a way. I'm getting like small might. It feels like Halloween already. Skin, I think, or is that just red? Some skin bag out there. They you get a collection event launching with the season. Control. Crypto skin looks pretty cool. I'll rip it from their cold, dead hands. That's so interesting. They made a Christmas crypto skin look scary. It was like he went from like. Elf to vampire. I mean, given elves and vampires kind of look the same. So that was that was the season 18 gameplay resurrection gameplay trailer. I like how they're not really calling it like season 18, 19, 20, all that anymore. Like it's just like it's got its it's got its own name. But um as as for Revenant, I am extremely excited for him. I'm not gonna lie. I think he's gonna be a lot of fun to play. I think he's gonna have a pretty interesting kit that could really shake up the Apex games. Um 
his shadow pounce ability is probably the thing I'm most excited for. Just like a really, really cool new movement ability that can like get you across battlefields. You know, being able to like isolate people and, and get big picks on um, on a team. It's kind of the first ability we've seen that can really maybe potentially even contest a Pathfinder grapple. But with that being said, his new look is also pretty interesting. I do think it's a little bit more sleek, but I do find it funny that he is missing like the bottom half to his mask. So it kind of looks like he's smiling a little bit. I don't know, every time like I see photos of him, I, I just literally picture Revenant smiling. But it, it is nice to see that Revenant is finally kind of feeling that stealthy assassin type vibe that he's been somewhat lacking. He doesn't really he didn't really feel like that before, but I feel like this kid could really do that. I know his abilities were already talked about and revealed yesterday, but I wanted to just take another look at him here. Assassin's Instinct, highlighting nearby low health enemies, improves crouch walk speed and wall climbing. So one thing about Revenant's abilities, or at least his passive, um, when you're wall climbing, it's gonna be so much easier to wall climb laterally now. You're not gonna be as stuck like going straight up and down. Obviously he still has a really long climb, but you can kind of traverse around buildings a little bit easier now. And the scan that you're gonna get by highlighting nearby low health enemies is pretty incredible. Uh, they, they said that when we were in the dev stream or you know the early access event, uh, they said that there is no limit to this passive. So let's say you were at a POI at a hot drop and there was literally, let's just say hypothetically, there were 30 people who were low health. You would see all of them. Like they, they would all appear on the highlight. Um, another thing with that is if Revenant is the person to get somebody to low health, that the whole team is able to see them on highlight as well. So it extends past just Revenant. It's a lot of scanning. Uh, we already have a lot of legends who can already scan. We'll see how this one plays out. It honestly sounds pretty powerful being able to isolate and get the people who are already low health, uh, potentially popping a battery or a heal, something like that make things sufficient. Before we talk about his ultimate, I just wanna talk about his tactical quick, the Shadow Pounce. The Shadow Pounce is gonna be really, really cool. Like I said, it's the first ability we've really seen that can cover large space very, very quickly uh, during a fight. So, you know, if you get a guy weak or if you see that he's weak with the Revenant passive scan, you know you can get to him safely, he's ISOed out, you can maybe get him before he gets back to his team. You can jump, you can pounce on him. Um, you know, it's quick like a grapple, you're not gonna be able to penalize too hard for jumping. Um, so yeah, it could be, it could be powerful. And then his ultimate forward shadows, protective shadows that block damage, knockdowns, recharges, shadows, and tactical. Um, I, I think that, you know, this, this ability is going to be game changing, like for real, for real. Uh, he has basically shadows that give him up to like 75 additional uh, health, um, on top of his, what could be a potential red shield. So that, that's just a lot of HP to burn through. To take down a revenant he's definitely going to be able to ego chow a lot of stuff that no other legend would normally be able to do his hitbox does get a little bit big, uh, bigger with the shadows so he's easier to hit but still a very powerful ability and the fact that the shadows recharge is kind of crazy i kind of wanted to get into some of the notes that we had from the early access uh, event i think some of the things that really caught my interest the most out of everything else um that they have here on this list is that the Peacekeeper uh, is now getting Disruptor Rounds. Disruptor Rounds are coming back to Apex, essentially. Um, you're gonna be able to use them on the Peacekeeper. I think uh, Shotguns are gonna have a much better spot in the meta this season. I think uh, Disruptor Rounds on a Peacekeeper is just, it just sounds devastating. We also know that the Charge Rifle is getting a complete rework. It's gonna perform like a rail gun. It is now a projectile weapon. It's not gonna be hit scan. Uh, like it has been all these seasons. Um, it's it's in line with all the other weapons now. It's gonna perform kind of like a railgun, so you gotta charge it up fully, and then only once it's fully charged, you can unload the shot and actually hit for big damage. Um, it does take a bit more skill, because like I said, it's projectile now, but they did say the longer uh, the shot is, the more damage it's going to do now. So it's a very high risk, high reward weapon. It's still the best sniper for very long range picks. I know on paper it sounds like, oh god, this could be really, really dangerous, but you have to remember, this is a completely reworked charge rifle. Projectile actually takes a lot more skill, you gotta fully charge it, and if you hit those shots, I mean, it'll pay off, so. We also saw here, Crypto got a new skin, there's a new collection event dropping with the uh, season. I'm not really, like, all that crazy about the collection event, just because, you know, with the new season, it's a new season, you know what I mean? And we get collection events throughout it, but um, for you guys who, like, really love your skins, we get the Death Dynasty collection event. Uh, they got a new Revenant heirloom in there as well, the Death Grip. I'm pretty sure it's a recolor of the site that he currently has. You guys also saw later in the trailer as well, there was mixtape on Broken Moon, which is the other highlight 
highlight point of the season. And the only other thing to really talk about is rank changes. Here on the rank changes, they said that uh, they got refined tuning and stability, including adjustments for ring damage and timing to decrease pre-final lulls. Kind of basically like making anti-climatic endgames. They added a minimum elimination bonus increase based on the player's MMR and buffing elimination bonus. And the latest ranked updates will slow the pace to masters for the average player and allow more accurate matchmaking and higher quality matches. As for the rank changes, I don't necessarily think that this is everything that needs to be done to the rank system. I think it still needs a lot more work. I really didn't like how they said that it's going to slow the pace for the average player to get to masters as if the average player should be able to even reach masters like it kind of contradicts itself you know what i mean like the average player is the average player so the average player shouldn't be masters the average player shouldn't be able to ev i mean i get if they accumulated skill they'd eventually be able to reach masters but the average player should not be able to reach masters i don't know how ranks gonna be this season we'll have to wait, uh, cross your fingers wait and see hopefully it plays out better but um overall that's pretty much it for the new season. That's kind of like my very, very quick rundown. You know, as I sit here and just kind of give you my final thoughts and impressions on the new season, you know, like I said, there was the early access event. I, I got to see like a lot of, you know, the details regarding the new season and all stuff like that. And I always keep it like straight up with you guys. I'll be honest. Um, I'm not the most excited for this season. I think that it is a little bit uh lacking in terms of what we normally get you know technically technically there is no new legend like we got a rework for legend with new ability so it'll feel like there's a new legend but a no true new legend there's no map changes that i've seen as of so far and there is no new map so with that you know like really not getting like a lot of what we're used to so outside of revenant reborn which whose abilities you already saw yesterday you know we got the collection event dropping we got new mixtape uh maps and we also have the battle pass uh that i have here to talk about today a couple new attachments in game changes like i said the charge rifle and the uh, disruptor rounds uh, i i do think this uh season's a little on the soft side from the start from the start so uh, it'll be interesting to see how things develop i think season 17 you know really uh got a bit dry by the end of it but hopefully this can uh, hold us over um in the meantime so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video just try to keep it honest with you guys give you my true honest thoughts and opinions man if you guys enjoyed like so always appreciate it subscribe uh let me know how you guys are feeling about season 18 down in the comments yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one have a great day keep up stay up peace out y'all